Thanks for joining us here in Geneva for the AI for Good Global Summit 2018. I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. Chesa Blee. He's director of ITU's Telecommunication Standardization Bureau, organizers of the summit. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us today. So to start with, what can you tell us about the priorities of the summit this year? Because the summit is in its second year. Yeah, since we had the first summit last year, we tried, uh, we tried to have some more inclusive discussions on this AI subject. But this, after having all this good success, this year we, a challenge of this uh, action-oriented, so like uh, uh, we expect of this AI summit will drive some of action or uh, requested project. So that is uh, our uh, goals of this uh, second summit. So you want to find practical solutions for, for AI uh, systems and, and solutions. So how do you encourage it at the summit? I know you'd had, you, you decided to focus on four main themes. That's uh, satellite, smart cities, uh, we had health as well, and mm -hmm. trust, obviously, because that's mm -hmm. a very important aspect. So take us through the organization of the summit and how you encourage collaboration. Yeah, uh, by the name of this AI, it's uh, incorporating too many things covering too many areas. Actually, AI, it's difficult to uh, justify what is a uh, limited of scope. We could not touch of this all the subject areas. So we won't prioritize. Uh, uh, that's a, uh, why one of our conclusions to when they set up these programs, the uh, satellite imaginary is uh, good for identify the uh, disaster areas or poverty areas that is a good for us, a uh, good subject. And the health domains, smart cities are another important subject and trust. So we set up these breakout sessions to identify how we can practically add, uh, arrange of these uh, AI studies. And also through these uh, the, uh, the four groups, we try to uh, uh, der uh, derive up some of conclusions, how we can move next, f uh, next years uh, we expect some of our project to uh, implement quickly, and also they will drive us of some strategic uh, uh, directions, how uh, working together with these uh, stakeholders. Okay, and the ITU is not just encouraging dialogue amongst others. At the ITU itself and the Standardization uh, Bureau, you are trying to use AI, aren't you? Can you tell us about your attempts to incorporate artificial intelligence in what you do? Yeah, AI is uh, actually heavily impacted with this all the ICT development. ITU as a uh, UN agency responsible for the ICT development, most of our subject is now issues is related with AI. So AI uh, <coughs> impact all the techn uh, techn technology development, but also our policy and the regulatory discussions as well. Definitely, including our uh, the, the development project, how we can so help of these developing countries the use of this AI uh, machine learning capabilities. All those are uh, important subjects for us. So uh, from uh, my uh, technical point of view, uh, our group has uh, uh, already our members uh, submit of their contributions to address the AI to use of these smart cities, AI used for the data, AI used for the 5G, something like that. For us, uh, one of the uh, fundamental part should be the uh, how to ensure this data. Data is a uh, very important oil, food for AI operations. So we are uh, enhancing of this, how uh, integrity of this data. So this is uh, one of the important part. And also we are uh, strengthening of this AI uh, to uh, make us uh, uh, smart and uh, strengthening of this, our network infrastructures. Those are, are some key subject areas for the time being. And can we expect the ITU to create standards that will address mm -hmm. that will address AI use uh, in the future? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the very near future. Uh, even we already have uh, some of uh, activities, uh, as I explained of this uh, AI machine learning to support the five G. We expect the five G will come to us as a new infrastructure. The five G need a strong support from uh, machine learnings. Uh, it would be very helpful of a smart and very efficient, effective operation of our networks. And uh, our another group is a data processing management group. We'll address how to provide the interoperability between different data sets, 
that's a very important subject as well. And also smart city groups, they receive how AI machine learning is adopted for this, uh, the smart city designing and operations. And uh, recently we had a certain discussions about uh, AI machine learning to improve our uh, strength of our security considerations. That is another part. Definitely we are not uh, neglect of this environmental aspect, how we can improve this environment through this uh, AI machine learning, adopt of this, our standard. That is uh, those areas, but uh, other areas uh, also we addressed, like uh, uh, video coding uh, mechanisms. We use of this machine learning to uh, improve our video qualities. Uh, so that is many of the areas, but those are uh, very near term uh, subject uh, in our standard development. Okay, Mr. Lee, it's a very interesting area. So where can we learn more about uh, AI's contribution to networking? Uh, networking is uh, important. Uh, a very fundamental part is the 5G development. 5G development is that we had uh, many standards. Uh, those standards is uh, based without uh, consideration of this uh, AI machine learning for the time being. But we uh, launched one of our focus group to address of this uh, machine learning to apply of this 5G infrastructures. That will be the first part of this, how we can improve of this networking. And also data uh, part, uh, data exchange of data is an important part of this, improve our networking uh, capabilities. So this group also address of this data, uh, inter, uh, it exchange of these data uh, with the seamless operations of these uh, networks. Okay, Mr. Kay. Lee, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. Uh.